All right, what's going on everybody? Today we have a little bit different of a video. I am detailing my bass boat. It got pretty dirty because we left it in the water for a whole week and used it every single day. So as you can see, we got some dirt, some grass, some rocks, sand, beer, beer spills, all kinds of stuff. There's a pretty gnarly stain right there. Uh, all the mat and that algae and the weed mats, it's all built in. Watermarks on the engine, watermarks on the boat. Um, I usually use quick wax every time it gets out of the water, but it stayed in the water, so I'm going to have to use vinegar in this video, and I'm going to go in depth on how to clean it. So starting off, I'm just taking out all the extra junk I have laying around in there, I'm getting that all cleaned up, and then the first thing we do is start with the vacuum. So uh, this is the first step to get all the dirt and debris and you know all the little stuff out of the carpet as best you can before we hit it with some water. So uh, sit back and watch me vacuum for a little bit and then we'll get into the next part. See in this time lapse, um, as I vacuum, the fibers start to come back up again. They were all pressed down. That's what happens on bass boats because people are walking on them all day. So as I'm going through, um, the carpet's starting to get that fluffiness back to it, um, back to the way it's supposed to be. Here's a close up of just how dirty it was, um, all kinds of crap. But the rigid shop back I used does a pretty good job of sucking all that stuff up. So here's a shot of it after it has been vacuumed. Uh, it's starting to look better already. Carpet's starting to get fluffy again. Uh, all the little stuff that you saw in the beginning clip is now out and starting to look better. So now I don't use any cleaner besides Simple Green and I only use it for grease stains. Other than that, I just use water. So I just go on ahead and spraying it on there liberally and I'm gonna let it sit for a bit before I wash the whole boat down. Um, and get all the carpet wet. So now this next part, people think, you know, they have a new boat or an old boat and they're worried about the carpet, but it's totally fine. Uh, I don't use any cleaner besides for the, the big grease stains. And I literally soak the whole boat. So you want the carpet as wet as you can possibly get it. Um, so I'm gonna go through these different clips and I'm going to soak it as much as I can. Um, and just remember it's a boat, it's made to get wet, the water can drain out and you're gonna be vacuuming a lot of it out anyway. And then I did this close up just to show how wet I get it. Uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty big pools of water there. Uh, another thing too, quick tip is make sure all the containers are closed because if they're open, water is gonna get in them. So make sure all your lids are closed so they can seal off from the water. Right now I'm going to be scrubbing it, so I just use a hand brush. You can use a drill brush if you want to, but I'm worried about the glue underneath the carpet coming up. So I do it old school. I do it by hand. Uh, it's a little bit of work, but it pays off in the end. And then here you'll see me with a bucket, it's just an extra bucket of water, just in case it's not wet enough. And as you can see, I also used a hose to get it more wet, but. Um, that's just one of the things I do. And if the brush gets too dirty, you can always dip it in the bucket to clean it off. And here's another close up, just doing back and forth motions. Um, you know, there's no specific pattern I have. I just make sure I hit all the carpet, uh, get all that dirt loosened up. And now we are moving on to the vacuum part. So as you can tell, sucking up a lot of water. Um, it, it does a pretty good job. Just make sure the filter's out of the shop vac because you don't want the filter getting wet. Or you can use your favorite carpet cleaning machine, um, whatever you prefer. 
And then we have a video, so I'm showing left side, right side, left side's been done, right side hasn't, and you can kind of see the line up the middle. Um, you can tell that on the left side right now, the carpet's starting to look a lot fluffier on the right side. It still needs to be shot back, um, get all that dirt out of there and that existing water. So now I'm showing you just how dirty the water was that I sucked out of the boat. Um, and this is why you need to wash your boat carpet uh, if you want if you want it to last. And then there's another close up in the sink. Uh, do not pour this in the creek. You know, I care about the environment. I uh, pour it down the sewage drain where it's supposed to go. Um, in my case, it's my kitchen sink, which is kind of nasty, but I made sure it was clean afterwards. But that water was black. I mean, that's nasty. And then here's a after shot um, coming up just how good the carpet looks way different almost looks like it came from the factory a lot more fluffier it still needs to dry but it's starting to starting to come along so now we're going to address the hard water marks that are on my boat again if you don't wipe your boat right after it gets off the water this is what happens and the only way i found that works is vinegar i just use 100 percent vinegar i don't mix it just straight up um, there's a close shot of the water marks so you can see just how bad they are so here we are, we spray it on liberally, and then I'm using a microfiber, and you're gonna wanna rub pretty hard to get these stains out. Um, it's not a light thing to do, so just keep that in mind. As you can see, I do everything. I'm moving on to the engine now. I don't want a single watermark on this boat. Um, I like my stuff looking clean. Nothing like hearing that 7-3 start. So the next step is to bring it outside and now you want to wash all that vinegar that you just got on the boat away with water. You do not want that stuff on there. And I'm also go back and hit a couple little spots that I missed. And as you can see here, I start washing uh, liberally with water, just getting all that vinegar off. And then we are going to end up bringing the boat back into the garage. I'm fortunate enough to be able to pull it in and out like that and have it in the shade uh, shades a big thing you definitely don't want the Sun on it so do it early in the morning or late at night if you do not have the garage like I do and now that it is in the boat we're gonna be using Lucas oil slick mist it's the best product I've had for my boat that I use uh, almost every time I take it out of the water so I'm just going around while the boats still wet and spraying it on and drying it off um, like I said because my boat was sitting in the water for a whole week uh, the water line just got terrible so that that was the whole point of the vinegar but that can be avoided as long as you take it out um, every day and wipe it down real quick with your favorite spray on wax and then here I'm just cleaning the console same thing vinegar water and then hitting it with some slick mist And now we are moving on to the seat. So I use 303 clear vinyl protective cleaner. It's a marine cleaner and uh, it protects it. So if you want your seats to last, you should do this every time. Um, I'm just doing it for the case of the video. I did it while I was at the lake almost every day. Um, I'm OCD about my boat, but spray it on liberally, take your microfiber and start rubbing. Uh, it might be a little hard at first until the towel gets wet. But I get everywhere in between the cracks, you know, on the sides, everywhere you can possibly get. And don't be afraid to spray a lot of this stuff on there. Uh, it really is going to help make your seats last. After this little clip of me cleaning the seats is over, we're going to get some before and afters. And thank you guys for watching so much.